Yeah. That's why I'm like, why did they forget me? Me, I don't forget. I'm petty like that. Yeah. Oh, fuck them niggas. Nah, man. don't forget, dog. You know what I said? Uh, I never wish it on my waist. Me, I do. <laughs> we all want to be at a. Let's not lie. We all wanted to be at a P Diddy party. I'm, there. I'm still going. Oh, oh. <laughs> good content. Oh. Good content. Hey man, hey man. But I heard some colleges are being deregistered. What's going on there, man? Um, she qualified from one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Damblin is clear. Your, your, whole, your whole web designer thing, it's not, it's not recognized. I was earning 15. Damn, and I thought why I was just underpaid me. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> having to be in the morning. In Durban. <laughs> In Durban. It's so get on morning. You have to be in Durban. You have to relocate to Durban. Yo. Anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, man. I want to say shout out to Kwena, bro. You expect him to say nah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, he's, he's disappointed. Uh, so my boy or my nigga, yeah, uh, Tupac, may so rest in peace. Tupac, your boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. Rest in peace, to uh, Tupac. Oh. He once oh, said, "Hi." Uh, <laughs> Tupac or Tupac? <laughs> Tupac. Oh, Tupac. Yeah, okay. Hit him up, my nigga. All right, okay. I wonder what he'd be saying about this Diddy shit if he was still alive. Eh? Woo! Pac. Bro, no. I wonder what. Biggie would be saying. Hey. So check this out. Yeah. Biggie's album, Life After Death, got released, I think, 1997, 25th of March. Mm. 2024, 25th of March. Guess what happens? Oh, P. Diddy. Yeah, make make what you will of that. But I th I think what it's so poetic. Aya Diddy's Richie. house gets Aya raided by, by, by the feds. Oh. Aya Richie. Oh. Yeah, Richie, it's, it's not... No, but Biggie's mom has spoken against P. Diddy and the fact that P. Diddy is rocking them, mm. like Biggie's monies and stuff mm, like that. Mm, and that's mm. big, Diddy has been chowing what belongs to, 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 to Biggie. Yes, you'll get whatever as bad boys and as the record label, but he's been rocking the family. Mm. And I'm just thinking it's poetic justice wow. that on the man's last album drop, mm. the anniversary of that, Diddy's house, homes get raided. Sure. Am I reaching by saying that maybe Biggie from the grave is trying to say, yo, okay. Yo, yo. yo. Am I reaching? Yeah. Is that a reach? Uh, hey. Let him cook. Mm. Is that a... I think it's a reach, man. Poetic justice, yes? Wait, so she's saying poetic justice, yes. But, but... Don't think he's fighting from the grave. It's like... Don't say he's fighting from the grave. Yeah. Don't say he's... How is that? Why are you making like a, a weird face? Is that a weird thing to say? <laughs> Is it? I think I think it's like wow, man. But Look, did he did what he did. There's no power one forced in coincidence, him. though. Hey, I'm saying there's power in co coincidence. There's power in coincidence. There's 365 days, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. on the one day, the one guy who dropped mm -hmm. an iconic album yeah. that he worked with, his biggest artist possibly to date. I can't believe it. Yeah. And it really? Yeah. Am I reaching? Am I still reaching? Now am I reaching? <laughs> Man, <laughs> bad boy. I'm not reaching, bro. Yo, go TD. Hey. But we'll get into that later on. So as I was saying, hey, right, Didi. my nigga Park, right, in his song, uh, he once had a verse saying, "Revenge is the sweetest joy next to getting pussy." Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Line. Boy, was he right? Hey. It is. Do you know, Ghost Lady, how many celebrities are hitting me up that uh, when we were getting cancelled, wished like for us to be like fucking destroyed. Are you serious? To the ground. Yeah. Every they week, want, What do they want with you? Bro, eh? What do they want with you? Bro, they call me up. They're like, hey, listen, hey, my show's not doing well. Can I come there? We need some views to push the show. Oh, the one the one hey. the podcast. Yeah, can, oh, I, can you do this for us? Can you do this for name us? Name and shame. You know what I mean? Na name and shame, my dude. Ah, my man. Para I'm a lava. Machi. I'm a lava, not a fight. Oh, we, you're a lava, oh, but yeah. revenge is the sweetest thing oh, next to I'm getting. I'm enjoying it. Pussy. Pussy. Exactly. Oh, I'm enjoying it, dog. Oh. I see the messages. I grab my popcorn. I'm like, blue tick. Eat a dick. <laughs> block. Oh! Yo, 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 yo. 
Karma, bitches. Thing is, thing is, thing is, what, what I don't get is there's nothing wrong with changing your mind on someone, right? But if they're going to reach out to you, you know what I mean? Be like, yo, I know I said what I said. I'm sorry. I'd like to apologize first and foremost. Um, okay, can I come on the podcast? Hmm. My thing is, dog, I'm always getting dragged Don't every week. Don't think like you didn't do or say shit. Exactly. Yeah. I'm always yeah. getting dragged every week. Yeah, not yeah, a single celebrity. Right now, I think. Not a single celebrity ever has my back. Ever. I got your back. No titty. <laughs> <laughs> no titty, bro. No titty. You call that no titty, that shit. <laughs> you know? You see, that's why yeah. I love the chillers so much. You know, my yeah. allegiance is to the chillers because yeah. they always have our back. Yeah. So it's so crazy to see these people. It's like they have amnesia. They forgot the shit they Yo. said when they we were getting dragged. I mean, don't forget. Oh, that's why I'm like, oh, why me, don't, I don't forget me. Me, I don't forget. I'm petty like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck them niggas. Nah, <laughs> don't forget, dog. You know what's that? Uh, I never wish it on my West End. Me, I do. <laughs> Oh, poisons. But am I wrong though? Am I, am, I, am I being mean, ghost lady? Kill them with love, my nigga. Kill them with love. Bring them on the show? Kill them with love. And do what? And do what? And like, I feel get like them views? Kill them with love. Ah, nah. nah. <laughs> No, it would be wrong to bring someone on the show to shame them like that or whatever. Maybe attack them. I don't think no, it's... No, no, no. Rather, just, rather than I just avoid having, having them in your platform. I think that's the way of just like... It's almost like you're protecting your space, you know? So it's but like also, you know... You, you, they already expose themselves. You know who they are. So therefore, don't allow them in your space. And it just shows the fuckery of the industry that we always keep you're talking right. about. In terms of, okay, you're saying this about the biggest platform in Africa. Did you not think one day you might need them? Exactly. Exactly. Because it was fashionable. It was a yeah. fashionable thing to say. Because you couldn't think. You might need a show that no one's watching to push. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> did not register. And sometimes it also teaches, like, what people should also learn is that maybe instead of just trying to go with the crowd of backlash, maybe just think and go, really, nah, is this backlash? these celebs don't have backbones, bro. Yeah, oh, that's the Zero. problem. Zero. That's the problem. Even with P. Diddy, dog, mm -hmm. he hosted so many musicians, well, politicians. Well, he the backbones out of all of them. <laughs> Uh, 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 and he's got uh, footage, uh, uh, you know, so they can't talk. Bro. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 um, athletes, you all these sure. prominent people. Yeah. But none of them, no one has ever tweeted like, yeah, I remember going to that black, uh, like a black hole. Some kid, man. Who? Um, exhibit. Is that Exhibit. Please Google Exhibit talking about Diddy. So Exhibit once mentioned in an interview, so there was something happening. And then they were done doing that thing. And then Diddy was like, yo, you're in my town. You're in my city. Let's go. Let's go. You know, I know some cool spots. Oh, no, 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 no. I know, I know that interview you're talking about. I'm talking about now. Like in the past few weeks, who? Which celebrity can you name that has stood up for Diddy and said, yeah, I was there. We did that shit. Who? Who has incriminated themselves? No one would ever incriminate themselves. Yeah, the chances if, are that deep. Because yeah. what were you doing in a room with Diddy maybe. doing stuff with like maybe kids? I get him doing stuff with men. That's up to him and consenting men. Yes. Right? Okay, what about... But if you're in a room with Diddy violating another man and you felt comfortable to violate another man with you there, then he's got something on you, clearly. Exactly. Or you are part of the action. Okay, what about the people? Because it's not everybody that went to the parties, remember? Yeah. Oh, everybody did, but not everybody was privy. Like, Sizwekom has been to a party. You know, Yeah, yeah. But, oh, and, wow. and he says that you could tell that he spoke about this on the radio. He could tell there was an air of, like, sex. Yeah, well, because <laughs> there was, like... You know, like the, the dancers, you know, half naked. Strippers. You know, like yeah. the, the shit you'd see at a Moloko or any party at a club. You know those girls, you know? Oh, okay. And there was that sense and models and stuff. But obviously, not everyone gets to go to the, the after, after, uh, other, other, other room yeah. with the other, other, other yeah. niggas. Only a certain people get ushered into that space. So I'm talking about those people that never got to go to the other, other room, but they were in the vicinity. None of them have stood up and been like, yeah, man, like, you know. But that, we that, that, that doesn't happen in the vicinity. That happens in the other, other, other thing. It doesn't happen at the, oh, it's like... Take um, a, a party. Let's say there's an exclusive party in Brankston or white party that happens maybe every year. <laughs> oh. you're, not, you're not just going to get there and see shit at the gates. Hey, you're on fire. <laughs> no, I'm just, it's a hypothetical question. <laughs> it's a hypothetical question. Let's say things happen at a party. You're not just going to get there. At the, at the bar, you're not going to find someone getting a dick forced down their throat 
or randomly. It's going to happen mm. exclusively to the selected few who've been chosen who are in the inner circle. So do you not see anything wrong in the people that were in the vicinity but didn't go to the after-after party, but they were there, and now this shit is coming up, but they're all mum. They, no they didn't see it. They didn't see it. They didn't see man. anything, but... It's no like, you know what it's like? It's like the people who visited Tabo Besta not knowing that he was Tabo Besta, still thinking he's uh, TK Nguana. And then it comes out later, you know, and then like, Ungema. she said that when she found out what the fuck, this guy is that guy, then you cut all ties. But you were deceived. So you can't blame people who are deceived and didn't see shit. But, but, but you see, Caesar did that. He said, listen, I was at those parties and I got a sense of, some weird shit happening. Yeah. But he wasn't in the after after. Party. Yeah, he didn't know it was he just was like, hmm. So, just weird so thing. in America, who's a Caesar's law man? Do you know someone who said that, oh yeah, I was there, but like I wasn't in the after after part. Well, if I don't know, if I, like I said, about not it. now. I know 50 Cent, sorry, yeah. sorry for yeah. the cutting. Yeah, 50 okay. has been vocal about Diddy and how he moves. Mm. Diddy offered him to go shopping. <laughs> Diddy moves like this. Uh, exhibit was like, yo, this guy took us to a party. We got to this back room. It's like the VVIP. We get it. We're superstars. We're chilling. Two guys are kissing. Then it's like, oh, okay. Ah, okay. Oh, then Stinini Chigi Chigi, hi. Then it's like, I boy, got this school, Pilana. Then he left, right? Because there's nothing wrong with being taken to a, a particular club, but you got to tell guys like, yo, we're going to a club. It's going to be this vibe, especially if you can, you know the guys you're rolling with are a certain way, mm. you know? So, but now no one has. No one has said at parties, this is what they saw. This is Because also, I think a lot of people, are afraid of Diddy and don't know what his that's fate what is. They'll start speaking once he's behind bars. Yes, yes. That's, what get get to to. that's what I wanted to you get to. That's what I wanted to get to. You know they talk now. Yes. 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 Because when it started, there was a, a, a thing of like, okay, there was three things happening. It's yeah. either you believe he did it, but you didn't speak out because you were scared maybe you might lose bags because he put a lot of people on. Mm. Yeah. And a lot of people are responsible from him uh, being successful yeah, for course. their he own... Put, he put a lot of people on. You understand? Yeah. So you might not talk because you think, hey, my boy might survive this and then we can and still... And then I'm fucked. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. But now shit is hitting the fan. Yeah. And you got to choose where you are. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you? Do you think people come down on, hard on those who, 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 who've decided to keep quiet? Jay-Z has been... Very close to Diddy, they 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 friends, you know. I mean, what's what's better than one millionaire, billionaire, two, mm. especially for the same hue as you, you know. He even dedicates lines to to Diddy, mm. but he hasn't said a word. Yeah. Do you think people are gonna say there is a line, and if you don't say any word, they're still gonna be fine even without saying anything, bro? No. So that's what I was saying. There's three people. There's people that made money, broke bread with Diddy. Mm -hmm. That were afraid to say anything. They know all the shit that he's been doing, mm -hmm. but they're afraid to say anything because they don't want to maybe might escape it and they don't want to lose like a revolt bag or whatever right he's out of revolt yeah he's out of revolt and then um there's another group of people who are part of the shenanigans your swallow guy your jay-z allegedly whatever who don't want to shine light the upon the them ashes. yeah who don't want to light and to the yeast infection sure. <laughs> 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 Because if Jay-Z says something, it's going to be like... You're not going to STD. We don't know from who, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now it brings light to Jay-Z. Now people will be start scrutinizing him. Rock so he's Z. like, let me keep quiet, right? Mm. And then there's um, the third people who know who this nigga took videos and are just scared. Yeah. Because hey. shit is about to hit the fan. You know? So I think that's where we're at at the moment. And just to bring context mm -hmm. for the chillers that might oh, not yeah. know. Mm. So PDD's house got raided by cops, the feds, during the week. And sources say he may be charged with um, sex trafficking, rape, pedophilia, and many more. PDD says he's a victim of a witch hunt. The rapper and mogul Sean Combs is facing mounting legal troubles after federal agents mm. searched his properties in Los Angeles, uh, LA, and Miami mm. as part of a sex trafficking investigation. This is a developing story which we will cover as the new information services. Mm. And the crazy thing is, with the feds being involved now mm. NDAs are null and void so whether you sign an NDA or not you can come out now and say whatever yeah yeah the, the, the feds override override yeah, yeah that's the word I'm looking yeah, for thank you yeah yeah thank fed you. checker you had your <laughs> <laughs> you got your, you, you had your hand up fed checker 
Yes, I was saying what Sal is saying is true. Um, Exhibit has been speaking about his experience since 2009, since September since. 2000. Yeah, and he's still continuing to speak about it. A lot of people, there's this other Jaguar, what, what, what's her name? Jaguar Wright. Jaguar Wright, yeah, yeah, she's been talking about it. And people she, said it was, it was, she was crazy. Yeah, people said she was crazy. She even touched on Jay. Because yeah, guys, yeah. with Jay, I mean, there's pictures where he's, he's taking stamps with Aliyah, mind you. She was like 15 or whatever then. Oh, yeah. And the way he's just... And then the fact that... R. Kelly married Aaliyah mm. at a very young age, yep. which was frowned upon by everyone. And then Jay went on to do a whole project toward an album, um, Best of Both Worlds with R. Kelly. It's also like, whoa, man. I mean, you know, like, mm. hey, man, you know, you married a girl who was 15, you know, 16 as an adult, and then did a whole song, Not Guilty. You know what I mean? It's also like, that's crazy. And then Chiggy Chiggy, Aliyah passed on in a crashed airplane. Even that is like, hmm, was it just an accident or was Bogna Sangas SS Tat involved in that accident as well? It's crazy. So, shit. Shout out to Kanye, man, because I feel like with him having had these problems with Adidas, they must have searched and searched oh, and yeah. searched. Oh. Searched the barrel. Searched the bottom. Searched the bottom of the barrel, the bottom of the closet for any skeleton. Mm. And he doesn't have. Zero. You know, then they will make him look crazy. Mm. You know what I mean? If all else fails. Because, yeah. And I think that's the beautiful thing of trying to just stay clean and sober. Even 50 Cent's, the reason he's behaving this way He's got you know, nothing. Because he's been sharing it, mm. but he's also, he knows he doesn't have skeletons. He wasn't moving So funny. the guys that are quiet are the ones he must be suspicious about. Ah. Why are you quiet? Ah. Yo. Yasha, why are you quiet? Some may be quiet. Hey, now one is in those Smaller than skeletons. Did you guys um, hear of that lawsuit that was filed by, I think, a former producer was working with? I heard about um, that. Yeah, like just the damning allegations that are on listed on that thing are just like, yo. Like, that's when you see that this guy was... There's a screenshot I took here, what man. What did get all the time to make money, man? It's like he was just a full-time <laughs> creep <laughs> freak. Like Harvey Weinstein, like the black... You know, also, Epstein. Yeah. Epstein. No, but with him, it looks like it was for Epstein. his benefit. With 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 Weinstein, it's Weinstein, Epstein. 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 With Epstein, Epstein it was more. Harvey yeah. Weinstein also is, is 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 thingy. Me too. Is a me too guy. Yeah, oh. but Epstein seemed like Epstein, he was like yeah. a concierge of some sort and provided these services for other people. With Diddy, it's like it was all for his pleasure. No, 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 no. Oh damn! He was recruited. So uh, oh, so it turns oh. out I could be wrong, but oh. it turns out there's someone who got him into this life. Like oh. There's a, there's a guy who was his mentor mm. who taught him this lifestyle. So there's a hierarchy. So oh. it's Diddy and then his workers and then, you know, the rappers and the entertainers that benefit from the parties or whatever. Yeah. Mm. But there's someone on top, the people on top, uh, there's people on top of Diddy as well. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah. which yeah, leads me to he disappeared or exactly. died, apparently suicide, because maybe the people on top didn't want their names revealed. Now, which leads me to the screenshot. People who were put around um, uh, a PDD, like literally just to make sure whether he's like who was allegedly constantly high. So in order to perform these things as well, so you see that there's actually someone yeah, on yeah, top there was someone who was yeah. around him to make sure he's always high. Yes. So hey. this is what the screenshot said. When it said, get time um, to make money is my question. Uh, Mr. Combs had hidden cameras in every room of his home, yep. has recordings of several celebrities, artists, music oh, label God. executives, yes. and athletes engaging in illegal activity. Oh, These God. individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. Mr. Combs possesses comprising footage, mm -hmm. compromising, compromising, comprising. Compromising, I think. Yeah, compromising footage of every person who has attended his freak-off parties and Ooh. his house parties. That's what they were called, yeah, freak-off parties. Yeah. So basically, they'll be young black men just to service. So the Rady's house, right? And Fetching, we're going to come to you, no? The, the Rady's house, they arrest his kids and then he flies off to uh, another island. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically, Caribbean it's right somewhere. next to... Jeffrey Epstein Island. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> he can't get extradited or whatever. Is it the Virgin Islands? Was yeah. it not somewhere there? Somewhere there, yeah. Because yeah. okay. he can't get extradited. Island. Yeah. 
So my question is, do you think he possesses the footage that can incriminate people? Or is it going to be another Jeffrey Epstein situation where we find him dead if at I'm the bottom Diddy, of an ocean so. somewhere? If, mm. if I'm Diddy, that's his bargaining chip. I don't know how, but it yeah. sounds like a bargaining chip. Mm. So definitely you need to have the, the footage. Or maybe it's in the cloud now. I mean, it's not like it's 93 or something, you know. But definitely, definitely has it. That means Probably danger, in the cloud. Then. That means he's in danger. That does mean he's in, he's in danger. Do you think Jay? Do you think Jay Z still takes his calls? Huh. Hmm. Well, no one is touching him right now. Yeah, because it could be in danger. If you talk about athletes and whatnot, these are really like I mean, some high are not profile. as rich as and him, is, but a high profile that could put their heads together and say, "We have a problem." You know that, right? Like, yeah, I'm aware we have a problem. How are we gonna, yeah. you know, tie up this loose end? So also on that, um, the stuff that is just listed there, um, even law enforcement is like, because you there was a situation, there was a shooting that was claimed to be outside, but it happened inside at the at, studio. At a studio, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So obviously, and, and now it links that there's someone who they know who's their cleanup person, who's able to, who's connected with the like cops and they're able to change the ne- the, the story. Basically. Before the cops arrive. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Even, even brief the cops. Like, this is how, what you're going to tell the media. Uh-huh. So that's how they are connected. So this thing kind of like infiltrates to every, but everyone becomes... But I love the world we're in right now, man. Where the truth is just coming out, hey, man. Yo. Right? Bro, because because without, let's be honest, dog, without um, YouTube or digital or whatever, mm. people like myself and you who don't even do none of this shit mm-hmm. would be fucking castrated. You know, because we're not part of the the cool clan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you That's, get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And we get we get the short end of the stick. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, these fuckers who are doing horrible shit behind the scenes Bro. get uh, uh, glorified Bro. and then and, 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 and then idolized. Idolized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's shifting. And, yeah, and they are bro. going away with murder, like literally. literally Truth, you know? man. Ooh. Gotta come out. The deception, bro. There's so much deception that's been going on, Yo. you know. The world over, especially with entertainment, generally with power. Not even mm. entertainment, with power. Power. From politicians to filthy rich businessmen, rituals, all sorts of things, you know. And I'm glad they're coming to light. It's coming out, man. Yeah, bro. With power. And my thing is, Okay, I've answered myself. I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to ask, right, whether is it a thing where people are normal till they have a certain amount of power, then they start wanting to do other things. To other humans? To other humans. But then we've seen it at the lowest of the low. You know what I mean? Like communities, you know, mm. where such things happen. It not it may not be in a ritualistic, habitual kind of way. It may be opportunistic rather than pay someone to get kids and do whatever with them. But it may be, oh, one day, you know, mm. there's a kid that I left with or the next door neighbor or whatever. So we've yeah. seen it, you know. Yeah. There's just some really sick humans. It's even worse when they get access because uh, money. money gives you access. Mm. Same to shit. bullshit. When they get access, mm. money gives you access to anything, you mm. know what I mean, to anything. Your wildest dreams. You want to do what? To what? Someone's gonna organize yeah. it too, for you. Mm. You wanna do something to something to your specifications, you'll get it in the next day or two. And, and without money or power, it is without organize. money or power, that's not even a conversation. It's not even a oh, conversation. Yeah. 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 You okay. keep it in your thoughts only. And we'll see you one day when it has happened and how. A trouble. When's any? A fridge. <laughs> 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 For real, you know, ha, you know, ha, one fucking suitcase, ha, you know. For real, that's how we see with, you know, down here, up, up there, it's, it's wild. institutionalized. Mm. The creep. Hmm. Uh, fat checker, you, 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 you hand up, yeah. No, I was just saying that the producer that Ghosty was speaking about is actually Rodney Lil Rod Jones. And he filed a lawsuit in February, but there's still more lawsuits coming out from him in terms of um, Sean Combs. You know what? Shout out to Cassie. Because when did the Cassie thing happen? Last year. Because opened the floodgates. Because it's thanks to Cassie, because Jones is like fair, but sounds like what was after Cassie. Oh, no, definitely. Yeah, exactly. So after Cassie, and also shout out to Diddy for paying Cassie, because had he not paid, 
then a lot of people, you know, wouldn't come out because some are coming out for 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 the pay. Of yes, but fact is, they were hardly done by this guy. They were hard done rather by this guy. Yeah, and it did happen. Yeah, they are victims. Yeah. You know what I mean. But shout out to Cassie. She. I saw people were dragging started. coffee and nasty. Did nasty see go to a PD party? How? Why are you dragging those people? I mean, fresh went, coffee went. Euphonic was there. Fistas was there, but. We all want to be at a... Let's not lie. We all wanted to be at a P. Diddy party, I'm there. I'm still going. Oh. Oh. It's good content. Oh. Good content. Oh. Hey, man, if, good content. Hey, man, if I made music... <laughs> if I made music, like, and, you know, well, like, and DJ to the point that Diddy took notice and invited me yeah. to his party, I would have gone. Let's be honest, guys. How, uh, yeah. how are you going to say people are wrong now for... They didn't know what was going on. Yeah. And I don't think Diddy... You come to Diddy's party first night and he's like, yeah... Well, if it takes a liking to you, maybe. Yeah. But you can't blame people for attending a Diddy's parties, dude. Like, everybody wanted to be there. Like, the world, all over the world. You're just like, oh, shit. You've seen the Rock Nation branch. We all oh, want everyone to, be like, wants oh, to be there. If you were there, now I'm with oh. my, um, what's the color? Morph, with my morph suits. Do you think mm. when Morph and them came in, they told Diddy, hey, we got some African stock for you? Huh. <laughs> Straight from the motherland. <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 not true. Uh, you are probably like, nah, nah, I'm not in the mood to feast ass. <laughs> I'm good. Just let them party. Let them have fun. Show them around, right? Okay. Oh, good. I'm tired. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah. we are back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So Paduke is here, yeah. Ghost Ladies yeah. here, Dudu's here, yeah. Tabang is here, yeah. Tato's yeah. here, yeah. Noah's Check. here, what? Fat Checkers here, yeah. as well as DJ BJ. You got any gigs this Easter weekend? Ah, no. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you guys going I to quit Nigeria? I DJing, bro. Yeah. Oh, we're going to Nigeria. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, you cancelled? <laughs> ah, <right, right>, right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo, laughs> oh, 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 Happy Easter Monday, everybody. And if you're planning to uh, 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 bet or gamble this weekend, make sure you do it with easybet.co.za. They elevate your betting game. The site is the biggest bonuses in South Africa. So dive into the world where slots, uh, sports, and casino games come alive. You will get a huge head start at EasyBet with their 50 Rand sign up bonus. No deposit required. So Oh, wow, brilliant. And here's the real game changer. Your first deposit gets a massive 150% matchup to a thousand rand. What about if your team lets you down? Easy bet throws you a lifeline with up to 15% cash back oh, wow. on your losing bets. Uh, you losing bets. Where else do you get that? Ready, set, bet. Rush to Easy Bet and use the promo code MACG50. That's M A C G 50 for your 50 Rand welcome bonus. Easy Bet Group PTY LTD is a licensed and regulated by the Western Cape uh, Gambling and Racing Board. No persons under the age of 18 years are permitted to gamble. Winners know when to stop. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I haven't been into school in a while, but I heard some colleges are. Being deregistered. What's going on there, man? Um, she qualified from one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Damblin is your, 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 whole, your whole web designer thing. It's not it's not recognized. Your whole web designer thing is not recognized, man. Uh, so lead this story, lead it. Uh, please get the facts for us, Fair Checker. Yeah, there. please get the facts. What's going on? I man? thought it's because all the kids are doing TikTok and they're now DJs, so no one's going to school anymore. Nah, they they're running some other puzzle shop there, bro. Mm. Yeah. I'm not sure. Just, I haven't read the story. I just heard it on the radio. Damlin's like a big institution, bro. Yeah. Damlin is one of them, right? It's part of the... What's the... It's yeah. all what's over the, the country. What's the information there? Yeah, like Varsity College, dude, is like there oh. as well. Um, Not Varsity Vegas. College. It's City College. City, City College. Yes. Um, City Varsity College. City Varsity College. Yes. Easy. Yes. And what are you doing? Damlin. College. <laughs> Varsity. What are you? Damlet, <laughs> Lue Cam um, College, and Lu Isesa, something like that, city campus. And they've all been de Ikesa. Okay, thank you. They've all been de registered because they failed to submit their annual reports from the years of 2020. And so Financials. Now. Yeah, the financial and other annual reports that haven't been stated. So the High Education Council has. Deregistered all of those. Yeah. 
I just feel for all the parents and the kids who spend hundreds of thousands, you know, in putting their kids through school. So what does this mean now for their qualifications? I only say that I, I feel for them because I'm assuming the qualifications now, unless the qualifications are still active and still recognized, then at least. But I still feel for those who are still there and who are like third year, second no, year. No, I, I heard spent. the people that registered, I don't know about third years, but the people that registered this year can still finish their course in another institution. Ah, they'll get so, the credits. So, sort of like a college transfer market. Nice, because oh, okay. they'll still get the credits for the modules and continue and pay in the new for, uh, uh, school. That's yeah. fair. Oh, that's it? fair. Um, it doesn't affect their qualifications except for the the years that they haven't sent in the oh, the um audits. So go to you're still a web designer. Still a web designer. If you need a web designer <laughs> corner. No, that's beautiful then. Yeah, because I know a lot of people, man, sound engineers, <laughs> like who I've, I've worked with, and I'm probably still work with some. I just don't know they went there who. Going to Demblin and the likes. I, I got a question I want to ask you guys. And I'm yeah. not trying to be funny or anything. But yeah. yeah. Like, honestly speaking, do you think, like, the world, the way we're moving and what's happening in the current climate, like, school is still, like, a necessity? There, there might be things, I think. If we see for the ultimate, the qualification... Maybe not, but there may be a lot of things that school instills. Yeah. You know, um, the discipline of waking up and doing a task, the discipline of starting something, finishing something, you know. And some people don't have the discipline yep. of teaching themselves things online. You know, the discipline of, of learning how to think a particular way, a certain way. It's like maths. Right, none of us use maths in the real world except for counting change and uh, some arithmetics here and there. But the problem solving and the kind of way required in problem solving, you have it every day. You know, how to separate two things. So, you know, with Bodmus, you're gonna first, uh, Tina Bodmus. Brackets, exactly. So, there's a methodology into yeah. delving into finding solutions and problem solving yeah. that school teaches which you need generally in life you know all the other bullshit yeah is bullshit some of the stuff in the syllabus is bullshit if you history and all that shit and you know, but some care. things really are good skills that you get from schools and good disciplines that you get from school which you can apply. Yeah. So I think there is always going to be a space where school is relevant. What, what do you think, Osler? I totally agree with Saul. Um, I think like education is so important. You see it from just the fundamental stages from the kids when they enter, you know, like your, your crash, like all the things that they have to teach the kids in order to prepare them for life, basically. So it's it's uh, honestly, we can never say we can live in a world where there's, we don't need education it's it, it it's part of development at the end of the day yeah fat checker you said no immediately when i asked yeah. that question yes we all then i then i then i started no. seeing her going yeah okay yeah. <laughs> and then that's okay too it's okay to say no be converted to a yes that's life I, I still stand with my no it's just that when you explain it the way you are explaining it remember that education has been um divided into three parts or four parts so what you guys are talking about is the fundamental education which is what you get from primary yeah. until grade nine right which is your basic reading your problem solving and etc but when it comes beyond that honestly speaking Education hasn't really helped us as much. I mean, we were learning how to label locusts, and now that we're older... That's part of the bullshit. Yeah, yeah it's, now that we're older, we don't really need it. And it also comes with the essentials, like your maths and stuff, as you said, that we don't really apply it in the real world. Do you get me? Hello. I feel I'm not trying to discourage people and say they should stop going to school. I'm just saying there has to be a reason behind you going to school. If you're just going for the paper or the qualification, honestly, there's so many people including medical students who have graduated and are still unemployed so it doesn't really help in this economy and by the way with the maths thing not all of us use the maths in the real world yeah. but we benefit from it your engine your car these studios the technology that yeah. macbook that roadcaster that's all the maths they teach at school yeah uh, Even that label is often Bill low Gates, cost. Uh, uh, dropped out, but he dropped out after getting the knowledge of computers and now applying it. But he went through school. Hence, I said it's not the paper or the qualification that matters. It's what you do before getting there. So there'll always be a place for it. 
Definitely. And yes, we may undermine or underestimate the, and I'm not trying to say, oh no, these things are important, what we learn, but maybe they could change and obviously like improve as we don't, we can take away, maybe it doesn't have to be a locust that is being labeled still, if that's still what's the, the, the diagram that has to be put there. But it's also just understand, it helps you understand the different parts of whether it's an animal, human, that everything works you know, it, it just understanding. And the same thing with, um, I know we always debate about Shakespeare. Is there a need for Shakespeare even to still be under, like learning that? It's what it, it, it's there to, uh, so you can understand language, you know. So, but they could change and maybe just take it to something different and we're still able to take it to the now instead of learning the old. So those things do have, there are reasons of um, that they are put there. It's to help your mind, but it's just that we can change what is used on the textbooks oh, and stuff. Who's got a degree in here, in this room? A tabler. And uh, oh, no, oh. no uh, uh, dropped out. No. no. <laughs> what happened? What happened there? What happened? Oh, he's got two degrees. Yo. You got, why are you undermining him? Yo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One degree plus Two eight. degrees, my nigga. <laughs> oh, a diploma and a degree. So you're the only one no, in the room. The, he studied the art of plus You also have a degree. Oh. Tato. Tato. <laughs> <laughs> I am under mine. <laughs> so it's just blacks to you representing with the degrees and diplomas. No, I've got a diploma. You got a diploma? Oh. In? Audio. Audio. Wow. Ah. Mm. So it's just a host that are... Uh, and uh, even me, even me. So it's... <laughs> so it's just me and Sol. I'm a fundine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you don't need a degree in radio. It's a degree of rocking. <laughs> yeah, in radio, you don't need a degree, man. The rocking, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if you're comfortable about this. What did you think about the whole radio and uh, um, salaries yeah, and stuff like that? I'm comfortable. I mean, I'm not going to disclose my salary. Okay. Yeah, before we even start, you know, but I'm comfortable with it, bro. Come on. <laughs> was going. Yeah, yeah I know. So I know. Now I'm very comfortable with it, man. Look, it's reality. Uh, so it turns out Gaga CFM yeah. and its 2,800 salary gate opens up a can of worms for the radio industry. Radio presenter Penny Ntuli resigned after turning down a 2,800 per month contract. That is a Good business. for you, girl. That is a 2,800. Imagine. There's no one in the network that get paid that little. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Not even two, so I mean, two, so I think it's 2,000 per trip or something. Ah, ah. <laughs> Yo, per yeah. trip! Yo, per trip! Two, so just. Let me He's watching this, gonna look. Drop this. I'm freaking out as he's watching this. Uh, Where's my money been going? Penny is apparently not alone. Two presenters have apparently resigned who are on the same pay scale at Gaga CFM. Imagine. And then I saw a screenshot. Hey, man, what's up? Is my life, bro. Uh, <laughs> I saw so from? briefly news. Essay radio salaries. Here's a general idea of the pay scale depending on what role you have and you play on radio. Radio show host ranges from 12,000 rands to 318,000 rands per year with an average of 144,000. Per year? Yeah. Year? Average. 12,000? Ranges from 12,000 to 13,000. Uh, 318,000 per year, yeah. Wow. Yeah, what great. radio? Community station. Because mm. 318,000 would be like 30,000, like 25,000 or something a month. If it's a year, 300 and like something. Okay, okay. Yeah, and you it's, know very well average? that can't be commercial stations doing well. No, it's average. It's, it's not... It's average. It's not... It's not a... Oh, average. 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 Yeah. Oh. Average. Yeah. Oh, average. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> so, so, so I'm not going that's, that's what we would we would earn, Ghost Lady. Mm. So me, myself, you, and Saul, between twelve thousand three hundred eighteen thousand per year. Okay. With the average being one hundred forty four, one hundred forty four average. I need to know per month. That's how I understand these things. What's per month average, average, bro? So if that's if that's per year, confused, then we divide bro. by twelve. That's what we'd know per month. Yeah. So it ranges from twelve. Some Penduka. Remember. On radio, you have people on weekends during the week. What's whatnot. that for? Radio show host. Host. 
Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And also remember the the guys who earn like maybe a 2.8 will bring down the overall exactly. average. Exactly. exactly. Then there's going to be outliers within that number. Then those are the guys. Earning but on average, I'm going to uh, a radio station. I should be earning 144,000 as a host per year. How much is that a month? About 12. 000. Yes, that's low, bro. 12K. Okay. Now, as a radio producer, you earn around 98,000 hmm. to 356,000 per year with an average of 248,697. That's you, Dudu. Hmm. Would you agree with that one? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sound engineer, DJ BJ Pagama. Sure. DJ you range Moon between 138,000 to 370,000 per year with an average of 186,000. Now, for me, this does not make sense. How does the sound engineer earn more than the host? Because mm. the host, the average is 144. But with the sound engineer, yeah, it's yeah, 186. Yeah. <laughs> uh, audio engineer, range between 118,000 to 203,000 per year with an average of 122,000. So I'll, I'll bring it to my own experience. When I started on radio, I was working weekends, 3 to 6 a.m., Saturday and Sunday at YFM. This is 2008. I was earning 6,000. Mm. Your per what month. shows were you doing? Uh, I just said, I literally just said. Yeah. Monday to Friday. Weekdays, weekday. No, no, no. Weekdays, you said weekends. 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 Saturday and Sunday. Graveyard. Oh, graveyard. Yeah. So you were so we were in studio twice a week. You were doing two shows a, a week. week. Yes. Yeah, put it like that. You were doing 6, two 000. shows a week. Yeah, you were getting 6,000. Yeah. So you were doing eight shows a month. Yeah. Getting paid 6,000 for the eight shows. Yeah. Okay. And I bought a Mini Cooper. For me, it was like... How do you buy a Mini Cooper with 6,000 rands, man? It's still That's 2.8. Yeah. 6,000 rands, man. I mean, bro, this is 2008. Yeah, bro. We're not talking now. It could afford you a Mini Cooper. Yeah. yeah. And I don't have... I'll stay with my mom, so I don't have rent. In rent. your name, not your mom, like, oh, she I... put in a pay slip. Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Zero, dog. Did you, or you, or man, you how are banks allowing that? How much was your... <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, okay. banks are foul Yo. also. Like, how are you going to How much are the installments? Man, how much Sorry? Are how much was the installments? Uh, I think I put in a deposit from my gigs. Okay. And then it was like 1,000, 1. 1.5. Um, <gasps> ah, you see. Uh, how much was the value of the car? It was 120, 150 when okay. they came out. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. And, uh, and you put on a solid deposit. Yes, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. but let's be honest, bro. As an adult, 6,000 rands, if you're earning 6K... Even if you're living with your parents, it's not enough to get this a car. This is 2008. This is 2008. So it, it was still not enough. Cool. Then I moved to. to car, then I moved to drive time. I mean, looks like a drive time. Then I moved to overnights during the week. I think it was about twelve thousand. Five shows a week now. Yeah, it was about twelve thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I moved to uh, during the day twelve to three. The one I got fired on, I was earning fifteen. Mm -hmm. Damn, and I thought why I was just underpaid me. <laughs> <laughs> I always just thought for real. I thought, I thought la nya nya atwala na. Maybe gonna be a four slot or something. Nya nya atwala. Gandhi. But I remember because I, I, oh, I used to dig around like the network, the work network, mm. and I found the everybody's paychecks. Mm. And in 2008, they were paying DJ Spoo 100k, but they were paying him to his business. So he would pay the producer and the sound guy and whatever. Oh. Ah. So they were paying 100k into his company. Oh. So Does you, that make sense? I see. Yes. Yeah, because he had a whole lot of people in the studio. Yes, he had... Uh, but he didn't pay Faith Mangope. Faith Mangope was on his payroll, not YFMs. It was... No, she was on YFMs. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Yeah. He played all the guys that he brought, like his own sound engineer. Yeah, Abu, The guy who Abu did this class. Yeah, it was true. Yeah, those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. But he was getting paid um, The guy who did the skip was Trevor. Trevor. No, I Trevor no, no, was no, no, no. head boy at the... Nigel, man. I can't believe What were those skippers? Yeah, Quals, the Qual, the Quals keepers. Oh, yes, wow. yes, yes, yes. It was Trevor, man. He was his boy at Nigel. I know Trevor, bro, from like Foslo. Forgot Trevor. Then now. I got to Highfeld. Highfeld. Matondo, Trevor Matondo, yeah. How much is I earning Highfeld? Because I started on so I started on weekends, but I was earning per show, which was like 600, 700 per show. Okay. And on I was Highfeld. Earning, yeah, yeah. And then when I went during the week. That's 947. Okay, I can only remember like when when I was being fired. How much I was earning before that, in between, because I was there for six years. I can't remember exactly. But I remember when I got fired, I was working Monday to Friday in the morning, four to six a.m. Mm -hmm. before breakfast, right? And then I would do Saturday nights, uh, 947 block party from 6 p.m. until midnight. Mm -hmm. So I was there pretty much like 
seven days. Yeah. yeah. Right? And I was getting 30K net. So this is after tax and all that stuff and medical aid. Okay, that's not bad. Now, now you yeah. talk. Now you can get a house. Yeah. Now you can yes. get a board. That's when I was in Kalami. Yes. When we started recording. Yeah, when we started. When we started recording, now I was getting thirty k. Yeah, yeah. And a house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I know they pay well though. That's decent. Yeah, they do. They do. A lot of people don't get paid like thirty k working graveyard. Mm. Uh, yeah. Simi Arif, he tweeted. Radio I worked with him. I worked with him. Simi Arif. He loves yeah. cricket, eh? Guy from Cape Town, yeah? Cool dude. Simi Arif tweeted, Radio salaries are pitiful. I produce breakfast radio for 9,000 rands a month at 947 for two years. When was this? Yes, yes. During, during, during the time I was there. Wow. He was the producer there. How much? 9,000 rands for two oh, years. Oh, they took him for a ride. Hey, they uh, see me a ref. Oh. He needed a ref to like <laughs> blow the whistle on the fucking uh, 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 exploiting. What's your take on uh, radio salaries? My take is a lot of people want to be on radio because it's such an amazing, you know, a platform. It's, it's an amazing job as well. Um, and... Radio stations know that, you know, maybe some people are able to leverage off of being on radio to make money outside of radio, right? Gigs. But my thing is, that shouldn't be a must. You must still pay people enough for them to be able to sustain themselves as adults, to transport, right? Yeah, if you're doing one show, so Penny was doing like a Sunday show, I think, like one show per weekend or two shows, I'm not sure, for three hours, right? Even that 2.8 is still low though, you know, but she must be getting paid enough to get to work, transport, and then no to cover something. You can't expect to work once a week and get paid a salary that can pay your bond and all and all that jazz and your kids' school fees and your nails and your weave. And money for entertainment, restaurants, and groceries. Yeah, well, you can't. But two two point eight is low. But I also feel like radio stations also, and people apply for jobs. Radio stations welcome these applications now because people wanna they wanna foot in mm. and wanna prove themselves. Mm. And then they'll give you yeah, like us, Y Academy. We got paid. Uh, one thousand nine hundred and something, and that's a stipend. Oh yeah. When you're in the Y Academy, right? For six months, you get paid that. Okay. Yeah. And then they're like, hmm. They identify Saul. He's good. Mo Flavor is gonna go do the breakfast show, and Mo Flavor wants to do a show with this guy. Here's six thousand. Right? And yeah. And then I get there. I'm like, oh. Finally, I'm gonna get paid. I'm gonna get a car. Mm. I'm gonna do all these things, right? And they put a contract in front of me. It's five point something thousand rands. And mind you, I'm co-hosting the breakfast, breakfast show, show on YFM. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I was getting paid more than you. Yeah, <laughs> you're getting paid more than me. <laughs> you know, so by like five hundred, by five hundred, <laughs> by five hundred bucks. No, maybe the same. I think this is maybe the money be clicker. Yeah. You know? But no, but they don't go, it doesn't get taxed at that. Oh, yeah, it has some lousy ass fucking uh, medical aid. Key, key core. Discover a key care. Yeah. Oh. Like, you win the good doctor. Would he, is he one of the doctors in the network? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't just walk into any doctor and be like, yeah, cool. <laughs> I've been looking around for a guy who's key care com compliant. Mm. Yeah, you know, you, you get paid that. And now, and now you're like, fuck, I've always wanted to work here and get the foot in. Mm. You know what I mean? If you're lucky and maybe sometimes if you're smart, you'll get gigs, you'll start DJing. But that shouldn't be the case. If you're all about radio, you should be all about radio and still be able to get to work, still be able to pay rent as an adult, especially if this place requires you to be there five times a week. That's my take, you know? And then, yeah, second year, Bang Shaba. Bang Shaba. So, yeah, Bang Shaba, I think it went to like 10,000 or 12, right? So I remember chilling with my friends, um, old friends, and we were talking, and they were talking about the salary increase. You know, they're like, ah, my guy is 6%, 7%. And me, I'm like, I got a 100% increase. <laughs> 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 drinks on you, drinks on you. But I had to break it down to them, like, yeah. well, actually, it's hundred percent only because this is how much I was getting paid. It sounds mm. ludicrous, but this is how much I'm getting paid, and this is our, 
And then third year, it was like 15 and stuff, right? And then I remember very well. Then I went to a uh, thing, uh, uh, five. And at five, I was like, they they were like they want me on. Then I was like, nah, YFM wants me on as well. You know what I mean? And they gave, they giving me 30. Mm. You know, I'm lying. I'm like, yeah, yeah, thirty yeah. negotiating. Yeah. You have to negotiate. I'm like, nah, they're giving me thirty or whatever. You know what I mean? And then, uh, then five gave me like forty. You know, then they gave me forty. I was like, okay, cool. You can imagine. I'm like, oh, at least I can breathe. What year is this? Uh, this is 2014. Fuck, that's a lot of money. This is 2014. Yeah, that's a lot of yeah. Money. I remember, and I, thought, you I, gamble, I, thought, I thought I thought that wasn't a lot. Mm. I really thought that wasn't a lot because then I might him him or like no Tando's getting seventy or something yes, like that, you know. Yes. And she's doing traffic, I'm doing traffic, yeah. But, but those were I'm, I'm a rumors, you mm. know. I, I thought it wasn't a lot. I honestly thought I deserve more because you feel like fuck. I've been toiling away mm. in this radio game for this long and stuff. Um, what do, what do you think, Ghost Lady? So I feel like radio stations take advantage because people desperately want to be yes. in. And yes. even after people have proven their worth, they still continue to not give them, you know, like fully, fully some, some stations I, I speak of, such as Kakasi, as you've heard, to not fully give them what, because I think there must be a cap. Like you can't give someone who's doing one show a month, bro, like one show a week, 20,000, for example, you know, but at least, yeah, five. I'll jump into that, but Fine. I want to hear uh, 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 what Ghost Lady thinks. Yes, Someone yes. from who's not from a radio yeah. All right, cool. background. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Like, obviously, yes. And it's for all of this information for me is shocking. Because obviously, as the public, we view you guys in radio as celebrities who are getting paid very well. So I and think... And that's part of the problem also. And it's, exactly. So it is part of the problem. Uh -huh. But I think it goes back to... I think as people, we need to start being honest about salaries. You know, there should be an openness. I think that will now come back. Let's start now. How much are you earning, Gosley? <laughs> yeah, the openness starts with you. Charity, charity. You know the charity. You know where charity begins. We must be honest amongst the people in your industry. <laughs> Switch off the mics. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? So, um... I think, like, I think because that has hurt us a, a lot as black people, especially, you know, we are we are living this life or maybe in the industry, it seemed like as if you are earning so much money, all is good. But I think there just should, must be some kind of openness of this is what. And I think maybe now even because these companies get get a lot from, you know, the sponsors and advertising. So when you when you just kind of like check at what the companies are getting, these radio stations compared to the salaries. But then again, the the, the thing is, does it mean that just because the company is getting so much money, now am I entitled it's to get your that company, money? Yeah. Exactly. So, also there's that factor, but I think there, there needs to be just a kind of like a bridge where it becomes, there's a reality and not this facade. And, what, but in in, in 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 spaces where so I applaud the, this 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 yeah. lady from Ekakasi yeah. for actually just coming out and saying yo this is what I got Pen because I'm sure mm. yeah okay like I'm sure now Kakasi is totally embarrassed yeah. and they are going to review their contracts what they give to their um um a, 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 a host so that they can actually do better because they wouldn't want this backlash again and again. But also people must also remember guys now that. Shows bring in revenue and it's you can easily calculate on how much a show brings, yeah. on how much spots are being bought on, on the show, how much oh. uh, advertising has been bought on the show. So like I said, there's some shows, like it's unfair to be on a show, for example, that's maybe generating half a million a week rands, right? Mm -hmm. And But you're getting paid like 5,000 rand mm -hmm. or 2,000 rands. Mm -hmm. That's unfair. But also we need to then, what I'm saying is maybe there must be a minimum because sometimes you'll find that the show that Penny was doing could possibly be automated because also on a Sunday morning, one o'clock, a lot of people want to hear music either way, True. right? It could be pre-recorded. It could be automated without a voice and people are still going to listen in because also no one is buying advertising time there. So it's not generating much, yeah. but they should be at least to say, okay, you're coming here four times a month, mm. right? Or eight times a month. We'll give you 5K. Yeah. Transport it and then Nugnani for your effort. Yes, you know what I mean? Yes. And that's fair. That's I fair. I feel like yeah. that is fair. Yeah. But we must also consider that some shows don't make. But if you work on a show that's been making money and the numbers are showing, the people are listening, they're growing, you should be paid fairly. I think I agree with both of you guys, mm -hmm. right? And what I want to say is 
Um, when I look back in hindsight, nah, I think there's levels to this thing. So level number one is where I agree with Saul, where you're just trying to get a foot in, whether it's three, four thousand, six thousand, whatever. Take as it. long as you go to show, yeah. you get in there, right? Mm -hmm. So once you get in there, there's level two where you prove now your worth. Yeah. So you prove by bringing in the numbers. Okay, cool. And then I think there's this thing amongst um, radio people where we don't know the art of negotiating because the figures that are being made by the station and the figures that we are earning are not transparent. So when you walk into a, a negotiating room, you don't know whether you have leverage or not because how much the station is making from your show, you don't even you don't know. know. You don't know, yeah. yeah. You understand? But then there's another level, like, you know, where you get to determine what you're what your salary is. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, your yeah, analysts yeah, 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 yeah. of this world, yeah. your yeah, yeah. fat Joe, where you're like, I am, my value is this much and and, and this is what I want. True. So, so, yeah. so for example, if I were to go back to radio right now, I wouldn't want a salary. I would want partnership. Hmm. Because if I'm going to Kakasi, I'm going... And the the platform, the podcast and chill, has more numbers than your station. That level, yeah. mm. That's the Jeremy level. Jeremy Mansfield had a similar thing. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking profit share. Nine four seven. So Jeremy it's not Mansfield. a salary. You understand? Mm. Yeah. So, but I think as as broadcasters, we don't know when which level we are at. So it's like whenever you walk into a negotiation, you're just willing to take whatever amount yeah. it is because it fits your lifestyle and whatever. Not really doing the due diligence of saying actually, you know, you're actually worth this amount True. because of the value that you bring to the station. Mm. I mean, I remember Chili M, there was a point, Chili M was so big that um, when Chili M was not available, a sponsor said they wouldn't advertise on the show until Chili, K Chili M comes they back. Him. Wow. Him. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you're at that level, you can negotiate whatever you want, dog. Mm. Yeah, definitely. You know? Mm. But you can't negotiate like that when you're just starting off on oh, weekends. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you tr yeah, you can't. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yeah. 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 So in, with that said, um, Penn and Dooley should have continued on the 2.8. Oh, Not really. Like, bro, everybody eats shit, dog. When you start, we all eat shit. Mm. We all eat shit, and then you grind, and then you prove your value. I mean, when I walked in into Prime Media, the first meeting, it was Terry Fogvane. She goes up in there, and she's like, this month... Um, Terry's dope, man. I, 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 I know Terry. She's like, this month, 947 made 50 million. I'm like, what the fuck? From that 50 million, how much am I getting? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. at YFM, that was never disclosed. It was just like, oh, this show is dope. This show is doing great. Yeah, true. These are your numbers. But in terms of the value that you bring to the station, it was never, it, it wasn't transparent. Yeah, yeah. Where they now, paid you and didn't tell you the why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just said, take it or leave it. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I think we're dragging on too long about the radio thing. But it's sad, yeah. man. How much do yeah. you think Spoo's going to get paid at Radio 2000? Ah, it's got to be more than 200K. He knows his value, bro. Nah? Yeah. I yeah. think the highest paid radio broadcaster right now has to be Anele, bro. Yeah. Like that station would crumble without Anele. Yeah, she definitely. Knows and that station is a money-making machine. Yeah. Like 947 is a well-oiled money-making machine. So you think Caesar's making the same as Anele? Caesar's probably making a lot, man. Nah. I don't know how much. Because Caesar does it for fun also. That's another thing. But like, that's because it needs the money. Caesar does not need the money, bro. Yeah. Trust me. He just does it for fun. But, and he does it because he loves it. Mm. Ooh, would that, I don't know, Van, I'd, I'd be speculating. Right? Wait, I, wait, know. Smoke I know that he doesn't need it because he doesn't do it because he needs the money. Uh, he told me not to tell anyone, but by the time this comes out... <laughs> no, you know, uh, oh, he told you. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to 2000. Wow. Yeah, Radio 2000. Yeah, breakfast, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's doing breakfast on Radio 2000. <laughs> sure. Matt so confirmed so it. Are we going to remove this part? <laughs> no, why? Oh. oh. <laughs> Mac, no, Mac but by confirmed. Monday, everybody will, will know, yeah, trust everybody. me. I mean... Uh, it's gonna Luke, come out. Loot Love is doing Metro breakfast next. With Sabi. Yeah, with Sabi. Oh, yeah. shout out. Sabi and Loot Love. Mm. Mm. But now I think Bonang will do like one show on a Sunday. Is she revealed? She's she's now back. I don't know. No, the Bonang one I don't Why know. don't they give that Ask a Man thing to? Oh, who does it at the moment? Hey, man. Is Kanyang still there? No, so Mizi and no, Lilarato is at midday to three. Oh, no, let them give them. Ask a Man, man. It's Bonang's thing anyway. No, she's too busy. Man. Apparently, she liked. It. Did, remember when? Um, I like. I started enjoying Bonang, man. Yeah, Funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really started enjoying Bonang on the radio. But she, she has passion. She, her passion is to do Sunday. 
She yes, has yes, that's oh, like the ultimate yeah, JJ dream. Told us, that's yeah. fine. Is she yeah. busy though? Outside of hey, no, I don't you're think you're doing she's the whole. Mang Mang told me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> JJ, oh yeah, he told you. Yeah, he knows because oh, yeah, let's call JJ, man. We're gonna find out if in parliament or not, bro. Oh. Yeah, let's call man, JJ, yeah. man. You had your hand up, first checker. Hasn't wait. Hasn't Ukos FM called you? <laughs> no. Oh, is it? Why? I heard they were interested in you. You know, Gaga's offered me a show last week. Yeah. Jeez. Gagasi. Gagasi? Mm. Gagasi? Mm. To do what did Gagasi make? What show? I don't know, man. I was just like, I hate them, hate them, hate What show did they want you? I don't know. I said, I'm poison. Well, what? You should have indulged them just for fun. Mm. Maybe breakfast, but uh, Felix Klopper wouldn't leave the breakfast. Oh. Maybe go to, Felix is good, though. Yeah, Felix is good. Yeah, Felix oh. is Man, I got shit to do. Imagine having to be in the morning. In Durban. <laughs> in Durban. <laughs> Forget about morning. You have to be in Durban. You have to relocate to Durban. Yo. What do you say? Durban's Joe. nice, dog. Hmm? Durban's nice. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't mind relocating. Oh, you'll do the Fat Joe thing. You know Fat Joe, like, he was, uh, like... It, living in Cape Town, doing Metro, yeah. but flying to a thing at Joburg every week, and I think they paid for his hotel. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Hectic. So you could you do see, that. You they see? could pay for your hotel. Yeah, yeah. yeah Carlos will pay for your hotel. Be like, no. yo, I want to over. You got, you got to craft, guys. The key is to craft mm. till the point where you make the demands. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and man. you tell them I need a blowjob every Friday before the show. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. And, uh, ah, yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> to keep the juices glowing. Need a morning glory. Yeah, I need right, a morning glory. before the show. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm done, I need eight strippers. Oh. <laughs> then they're gonna tear you. Eh? Then they'll tear you. Exactly. Oh yeah. yeah. When you're 50, yeah. they'll tear you. Yeah, take that out. <laughs> they'll tear you when you're 50. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Shaki <laughs> Leman. Fair checker. You're a married man. I was like, full of gloom. Yeah, sorry. I found something, but I'm um, now said that it it's a it's an old one. It was from 2023. It was Somizi Naked DJ and JJ, who are the hosts of Ask a Man. No man, JJ is with us now. Let's call it. Yeah, <laughs> JJ. <laughs> Not ask the show. I just call it Ask a Man because that's like the show. Oh, oh Kuto. Oh, Kuto. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the lady! Oh, the lady! Is she still? I fan, I fan, I fan, That's her thing. That's like your That's, yeah. That's like your end Yeah. That's like your end my man. That that one, my man. That one is pro- I it's, it's manifesting. When does of farm? I fan Nah. Quit the little keeper there. She's solid there. Yeah. My Jay. Yo. Are we in parliament or not? <laughs> That's all we care about. That's it. That's what we want to know. We asked a we man, and that man is you. <laughs> no, we, we we are good. We are good. We've had nothing uh, uh, different from the IEC, so we're good. We well, should bro, be heading you, to parliament. Are we in parliament? You sent a four four minute wow. uh, voice note in our group. That I, I, I didn't I have time. I couldn't listen. That's too oh, long, man. Like, what's wrong? Oh, what is it? <laughs> Yo, come on. <laughs> podcasting on WhatsApp. <laughs> We are podcasting now. There on WhatsApp, I was like, "Ah, oh, Eugene, wasn't it Eugene?" Oh yeah, it was Eugene. Yeah, one of them. They were saying, "Yeah." Uh, so it break it down. Eugene. It break it down. We've been oh, wanting a, we've been wanting an update for you from yeah. you from so long. What's going on? What's going on? So basically, what we, when we started the process, we both we registered both Eugene and I. We did the run around. Um, we got the signatures on both sides. Um, I registered in the free state, and yeah, numbers got verified. And then on Friday, we got an email from the IEC just confirming that we're on board. However, there was a public process um, over, actually on Thursday. Uh, so there was a public process for two days to object if there's anything, uh, you know, if there's anyone in the public who doesn't want us to, to be a part of this. So, so far, I don't have any objections mm-hmm. that I'm aware of. Um, the IEC is doing a press conference. Uh, late afternoon, I think on Monday. Yeah, on Monday, late afternoon, late afternoon. So, uh, but so far, <clears throat> yeah. Today's Thursday. When does the two days of uh, elapse? And also, if someone is going to say they object, does it matter on what grounds, or should they substantiate the objection? Or it's a matter of, I don't like Jay; he's too short, or I don't like Eugene; he's too short, <laughs> or, or he's not a funny comedian; I don't want him there. Mm. So the the IEC is very fair when it comes to this. Uh, when it comes to that, because yeah. if someone says like, you have to substantiate why, 
You know, and sometimes they would, I mean, at times they won't even let you know that someone objected if, if their reasons are, are like, you know, like uh, nothing. Like they, they said nothing really. Mm. They'll only contact you if someone says, Saul has killed somebody. Mm. Uh, what, 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 what. Then they'll contact you. Yeah, yeah. You know, is there any truth to this? Would you like to, to, to respond? Other than that, no. You know, you, we we good. Everything is good. But Saul killed you know? careers. You know you killed careers, my man. Who's created yeah. a kill? <laughs> Your level of uh, being a cause is so high. Like, no one can match up to it. Like, niggas are fucked. Ooh, now, come on now. This Ooh, exactly. You killed careers. Everybody's co-hosting uh, out there. Come on. Smooth's going to have a cause. Loot Love just got a co-host gig. Nah. Come on. <laughs> you think she's at your level? Loot Love, she's tall, bro. Fuck, she's not at my level. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ghost lady. Go. This nigga but killed. I, I this this nigga killed that career, bro. Yeah, no. Because so. with before Saul, it was Kumba. Kumba was that perfect. Oh, yes. Kumba's dope still. Kumba's dope. Ah, I mean, I haven't seen him on TikTok or anything. Mm. Like you took over, so you took over, chief. For am I on TikTok? Saul, Saul, yes, I'm going to pop you in a jar. For real. They, they even tried to get a mini salt there at YFM breakfast. Who's on YFM breakfast? Uh, okay, okay, what's up? Okay, what's up? Yeah, okay, what's up? Mr. Gaslam. Okay, he's actually doing a great cool. job. I don't, no, he's man. good. He's okay, doing a great job. He's great. He's, yeah. doing actually a okay, great job. Okay, doing a great job. He's doing a great job, yeah. Because their show starts hey, like in the morning. Yes. <laughs> their show starts at five. So sometimes we get to listen to it. Yeah. Show, he's doing wasabi. He's doing. Foster's got that heat, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Foster thing. Now, okay, pets. wasabi, I have Baba. I yeah. have I wasabi, I Baba. Okay, okay. okay. Nah, wasabi. But you didn't mention him. We gave you so much yeah. time. You didn't mention him. I, I, no, I didn't think. Ah, yeah, I gave it to him. But George. Yeah. I am ah, George. George. Nah, George is the one, bro. No, Wasabi, bro. I respect. Oh, wasabi, shit. Yeah, JJ, you're still JJ. on the line. Sorry, yeah, you were saying. Yeah, That's yeah, a false yeah, look. Wasabi, Wasabi. You were saying, man. So, so, so as things stand, until oh, anything change, but I don't think anything will change. As things stand, I'm the only independent candidate in the whole free state, which is crazy because it's going against all the political parties. Yeah. Yes, but we are in parliament. <laughs> Almost. Wow. People still need to vote. People, yeah, mean, we have man, to... So you are in the Wait. free state. Yeah, I'm in the and free state. And then Eugene, Eugene is nationally. Eugene went for the national ballot. The national oh, ballot. You are in the free state ballot. Then, what happened to Eugene? Is he in? I, I don't think so. Because uh, let me tell uh, you what happened. Cool map, but you. <laughs> No way, guys. Wait, 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 wait. We're asking wait, about Eugene. Wait. We're only finding out about Free State now. <laughs> no, so you're about you the national ballot, parliament. You must read the messages in the WhatsApp group. So what happened was the challenge we had, Mac and and Saul, is that we managed to get the signatures for for Eugene in in Gauteng, both in Joburg and Pretoria. But now what we found out when the IEC went through a verification process is that a lot of people, like for example, we went to Auckland Park. Yeah. A lot of the people that are in Auckland Park are not from Haute. Oh, you know they registered in different provinces. Mm. Some of, some of them are not even registered. The same with Pretoria. Mm. So we reached. A, we said we had more than a thousand number, uh, names. Mm. You know, but a lot of those people are from outside Haute. Oh. So we missed the mark by just a few signatures for him. Oh, you know? and, and you in only free get state, that in Free State. You are doing people that stay there. Yeah, so of I, course. you see, in Joburg, we went in town, we were in town at the city. But in Free State, Nikila Kokasi, you know, I was running around Kokasi. Remember, so, I was with you guys on Wednesday. So we were meant to ask, so before we got the signature, we were meant to ask, do you reside in Joburg? Do you register in Wait, Johannesburg? So, 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 you registered in Johannesburg. Oh, yeah, because yeah, we were just taking yeah. signatures. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't so know. Some, some were Zimbabweans, you know. Yeah, but here, Jack Zwanas been. Jack Zwanas been. I've seen Sayin in London. Zwanas been. We heard of Zwanas been. Like, I've seen Sayin. Like, I've seen Sayin. 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 You know, they took us to that race. All of them are registered in KZN. Oh, right. yes, I remember. Yes, I remember that race. Yes. So the IEC, yeah. did, it, did they stipulate that the signatures, firstly, because I it's my first time finding out that the signatures need to be on the, a voter's roll, meaning registered. And secondly, you need to sign. No, no, you don't need to be registered voter. 
So just, then you need to be you have to. You have to. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. So, you have to. Oh, you have to. Yeah. Oh, okay. But that's so unfair, man. Because so now if you're gonna be on the national ballot, people can't be from the nation. People are obviously I, from particular that's areas why it's within the country. To register. I, I yeah, but I get why in free state people would need to be from the free state if you're gonna be on the regional free state ballot. But, but if you're gonna be on the national oh, yeah. ballot, because oh, it's national. Yeah. It's national. Yeah. I I so you. why does that matter? Yeah, that matter but, is not matching, Jay. Yeah. No, but, but remember, some of them were not even registered voters. You know, oh. some of the some of the ID numbers because we're capturing with a pen. You find that it looks like a it looks like a five, but it's an eight or whatever. You know, mm. so, so when Jay, you punch in those numbers, yep. Did we always know that in order to endorse a candidate, you need to be registered? And if we did, why didn't you tell us this? No, so no. So we asked people. No, in, in, in Jay's defense, everything was happened so, so quick. Fast, though. Literally, yeah. it was from yeah. the Monday, Jay said, uh, let's yeah, do oh, this. Yeah, I remember. And then Thursday, we were literally finding out things by the minute. Because we were yeah. to ask people, are you registered? We thought, we thought we could get signatures uh, digitally. Like, just oh. put out a form on our community. Yeah. We would have gotten a thousand. Oh, I mean... Uh, uh, you understand? Tens of thousands. And then Jay's like, no, they don't take digital. It has to be to the streets. That's when we went to the streets. Hey. And then when we submit, Kibo, it's hey, now. It's another hey, hurdle. Yeah. Hurdle. So now we should have gone to Gokas because Gokas see, yes. people are from Actually, there. Yeah, they haven't left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. People mm. are from. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that's what happened, man. You know, I'm sad. I see him down. I see flies. I see why, yeah, why? Shout out to my camera, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my J. So that's what we did. So I mean, yeah, man. So we, I went coca. I see, I was knocking at people's houses in the middle of the night. You know, because wow, we, yeah. But you, you okay? So I mean, you, are, you, are, you are confirmed. So we can still rally behind you, but only in free state, ne? Yeah, I'm in, uh, unless something changes, but I'm in, you know. I'm in uh, free state only, you know. I know. I'm kind of glad, so dog. I honestly, I don't want to get into politics, man. Like, hey, so now we gotta, ah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, dog. Now you got to have bouncers and shit. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. but now you got to look <laughs> over your shoulder. Yeah. Let's start with free state and see how it happens, because I have no doubt in my mind that had we done this prior, like if we did it properly, oh, we, we would have gotten, gotten, yeah. gotten oh, it. Signatures and yeah. the tour around the country yeah. yes. uh, easily, bro. Yes, easily. yes. But it was a nice social experiment, not based on like whether we made it or not, but just to see like what happens behind the scenes. Like there's a shitload of shit that's going on there, bro. Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot. And you learn as you go. I mean, for example, uh, there's a story that just came now that Arizon Zante, not Arizon Zante, Arizon Zante is qualified. Yeah, I'm put together. They've been disqualified. They've been removed from the ballot paper. Oh, wow. put together. Wow, that's crazy. It's a breaking story, man. He recorded a video. It's all over the net now. Reason or was it the signatures? I don't. I'm, I didn't listen to the whole video, you know, because I was just busy with other things. I just listened to the first thirty seconds and I saw his caption. No, I no, like, I haven't oh, seen the posters and stuff going up. So it looks like they're out. JJ, are there going to be uh, posters they, I, of you in Free State? We have to. Posters, billboards, the work. <laughs> JJ is ready. I'm sure he's hey, ready. He's ready. ready. JJ is fine. Hey, bro, send us to some food, man. Eh, Pagam, <laughs> Free State. <laughs> and we need a van with my face and speakers. Yeah. And then yeah. Ghost Lady at the back saying, Vote, JJ. Yeah. <laughs> Robot boy. <laughs> 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 Ay, good luck, my dog. Yo, good luck. This, this, this is so crazy, Mac. A couple of years ago, we were selling condoms. Today, now, we are running to parliament. Like, it's the craziest thing ever. Amen. You know? We've got to protect ourselves at all times. <laughs> yeah. well, you, still, you still need protection, bro. <laughs> you know? You know he started rock so, the girls' condoms. It yeah, was you concept. told me. We were actually going, we were going to Nigeria, Jay. Yeah. When you started. Yeah, we're going to Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to Nigeria after the episode, man. Ah, dope. Where in Nigeria are you going? We're going to uh, the main... Abuja. What's it? Abu no, no, not Abuja. Lagos, 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 Lagos. Oh, wow. Lagos. Yeah. Lagos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dope. Oh, dope. Dope. dope, dope. And I haven't been since, no, no, since, no. since that time. Ever since, man. Huh? Yeah. When you introduced them to house music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, dope, 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 dope. No, enjoy, guys. Thank you very much for the support. So, I need to come there and just... Because we need, now we need funding. We can, can we call Rob, Rob? And ask Rob to ask... <laughs> Uh, now, 
Wait, you want to be kept church? No, no, no. Wait, Jay, oh. honestly speaking, if Rob fans you or anyone fans you, then they own your messaging and they own you yes. and what you're about. So then why are you doing this thing? Then it's going to look like you're just doing it for a paycheck. Mm. As opposed to the oh, attacking will find real else. issues. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but here's the thing, Saul. Now, this thing is obviously it's, it's very expensive. Obviously, we don't want money from people that are going to... Now, now I can't support Palestine, you know? Like, I'm gated. But you know, get money you that, not to support Palestine, I think. Of course, of course, of course. The big white funders tell you what to say. Yeah, I mean, you think yeah. the Oppenheimers are just finding a Rizum dancing in jail because they like them and they speak good English? Rizum Obviously, dancing. they want to... Yeah, they, they obviously they have their own uh, propaganda to push. So we want people that are going to give us money and let us be free, that are aligned with our thinking. You know, we're young, we're free, we want Chill representation. She laughs. You know, we want what's best for, for, for young people because we don't want people that are about to dictate I know they'll tell you, no, rock a mama. Now we have to write about you. That's Nice. So let's go to all radio stations, negotiate contracts for these DJs and keep the change because they're getting robbed, my man. We'll have a lot of money. Hundred, hundred percent, hundred. Hey Jay, how much were you getting paid at Metro, man? Yeah, how much, yeah. When you did ask a man, yes, you did ask a man. You know what? Metro FM pays very well. Wow. Very, very. Are they probably the station that pays the best salaries. This guy's a good politician, man. He didn't answer, but yeah. he answered. Ah, you're ready for parliament. <laughs> you're ready for parliament, Poise. You're ready for parliament, Poise. <laughs> hey, shout the, out, the crazy Jay. thing. In closing, the the crazy thing is my my, my daughter this morning I say, say to me I'm disappointed. I'm like why? He says yeah, but where is the well well you're not ready for this thing. Then. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you're not gonna tell us how much you're getting paid in Metro, dog? Metro, uh, they were paying me about I think about one thousand two hundred per hour, but but somewhere there. Whoa! Oh, hey, that's a good rate, man. That's a fucking good 1. rate. One point two, so you were making. 3.6 uh, per show. Per show. You were there five times a week. Yeah. So yeah. that's 15, 000, yeah, 16, 18, 17,000. 18,000? Yeah. 18, yeah, 18, yeah, so. A week and then a month, it's. Well, my 60, uh, 17. Wow! Jay! Yeah. 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 So yeah, they pay very well. I don't know about other radio stations, but Metro FM pays well. Yeah, okay, no. Shut up, my dog. Even Penny Lee Viana, nice she even you, said how, that she was... Cheers, Jay. Cheers, Jay. Cheers, even Penny Lee Viana said she was getting robbed uh, three to six at Metro. She was getting paid about 30 or something wow. in 2010. Huh. Hey, yeah. ooh. Guys, did you know, um, I know we're running out of time because we wanted to cap it at a one hour and 30 because it's Easter Monday, you know, people want to yeah. enjoy. Yeah. There's that Limpopo traffic, people are coming That's back. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. But did you guys know there's house arrest in SA? When Mandela was under house arrest, remember? Oh, yes. Hey, but that was a long, long yeah. time ago, bro. I haven't, I, I, yeah, I haven't heard of someone. Hey, bro, house arrest. I was like, shocked. Talk about house arrest. Like, house arrest. <laughs> I can have some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that's a house that <laughs> boss. I haven't heard of, of it in recent times. So, Jackie of the hockey club fame was finally sentenced uh, sentenced this week. On the wow. case of defaming the Kumalos, she received two years of house arrest, fined 30,000 rands or two months in prison. Or two years. Is it two months or two years? Two, two months. Two months. months. Two months in prison, as well as community service banned from, yeah. So if she can't pay the 30K, she goes to prison for two months. Okay. Yeah. But that's, she's under house arrest for two yeah, years. No, no. She, uh, uh, no. She's, she's house under house arrest. arrest. How long is she in there? For two years. Plus. And then... Plus a fine or prison of two months. Yeah. So if she can't afford 30,000 rands, then she goes to prison, like the actual prison with bars for like two months. And <laughs> and this is because she put out uh, some allegations. Yeah, she said that the, the Kumalos were moving like Didi. Yes, yes. Exactly. yes. Basically. Yeah. Well, what do you think, Ghost Lady? Um, I think it's good. You know, it's a, at the end of the day, it's a defamation. And it's good that they were able to fight the case and like justice was served, you know. So I think Bo um, Basetana, they are very happy with the verdict and it's only fair. Only Penduka? Yeah, man. Look, the court decided. I think, uh, Jackie could have obviously avoided this whole thing by 
Because one thing they cited which was she was adamant that uh, Romeo Kumalo did what she claims she did on yeah. video. I don't even if, know if I can say it because maybe it'll come for me, you know. But she was saying he was doing some foul things with an underage boy. Yeah. And uh, the and wife was a part of it. And then obviously they go to court. The video cannot be found. It does not exist. exist yeah. But she insists that it's, it exists. And they're like, yo, it doesn't exist. You know, and she refused. What do you think the motive was? What do you think the motive was for Bastana Kumalo? Dude, the motive was to clear their name. Yeah, clear the name. Motive was to clear our name. Because number one, we are good business people who have got relationships with people. Most importantly, we are parents, mm. you know, who've got kids. Mm. Now their kids uh, can't go to brides anymore, sleepovers anymore, because they need to. I mean, for example, they live in Cape Town now. They had to sell their their house this side and move to Cape Town to start a life because the kids. Serious? Yeah, they live in Cape oh. Town now because the kids like went through a whole thing, and you know like how parents will do. If it comes like, out, oh, stay uh, away from our kids. So that ruins your family. So they were protecting their name and their family, and to show to their kids that you got good parents here. You I don't have the parents they say I, you have. Hypothetically speaking, if it would come out let's say in a few years, five years, 10 years from now, mm. or even after us, that this was true, does it change the ruling of this matter, like now? No. Okay? It does. According it to you, be... like, would you see it in a different light? Oh, yeah, definitely I would. Yeah, definitely. Then it would be like, damn, Jackie got, you know, she was hard done, definitely. But it wouldn't change the ruling. I, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. sure if Jackie has got legal recourse. Maybe fact checker will check yeah. what Jackie then could do if it if she's vindicated through maybe the alleged video uh, being proven to be true or because sometimes what if the behavior is true but it only started not when Jackie Pomoto said it happened. Mm. That would still mean Jackie is still guilty. Mm. So for example, hypothetically, if it does happen that something similar goes down. But next year, it don't mean Jackie necessarily was innocent because what if then the account Jackie was speaking about did not happen? Mm, mm. Okay, I mean, if you say I killed someone today and I said, no, I didn't. Yes. And then you go to prison because you falsely accused me and you've defamed me. Yes. And then tomorrow I kill someone. It doesn't mean you are now innocent. Okay. Yes. Do you get me? I get yeah, you. but I don't know if it's proven that you were right. I killed someone what you can do legally. I'm sure there's some legal recourse for you to then approach the court. And you can even sue the state. That's why like some people who are found innocent then sue because they get prosecuted by the state. They, 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 they sue the state for sending them wrongfully to prison. Mm. Let's call Jackie. What are the... No, we tried it last time. She did. Is it? I want to know like... Uh, fact checker, what are the um, limits of... Yeah, fact checker is a lawyer. Can She's you go get like... Mm. A, a striped horse at tops. <laughs> you know, like, what can you do? What can't you do? Are you... Like, that she you get have an to be ankle a... monitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have an ankle monitor? That's what I'm saying. I don't know this shit existed yeah. in SA, bro. Yeah, it yeah. It's my first time hearing this, bro. Yeah, like, does someone check if you're leaving your house? Mm. Can how she watch date my family? Like, how yeah, does it work? Yeah. Yeah. What if you're homeless? Or maybe she has to report to a police station every day. Yeah. That mm, could be mm. something like that. Or yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Or maybe the police do a like a drive by just check, like any a routine check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they, just random. So they, you must always be home. Maybe yeah. that's how they do this. If thing. you wanna go buy groceries, we keep a coat ring. We can allow you know cops. But that's good for a writer, bro, to be at home for two years. You can write a novel or something. Yeah, no yeah but you still need some inspiration. Other than a computer yes, but screen. In this day of Uber Eats and all of these things, ah, uh, you can get your groceries. Actually, I'd nothing. I'd like nothing better than house arrest, bro. Sure. I'm tired, my man. We need spa now. Yeah, if you're really rich, if you can afford house arrest. And then, yeah, some people not even. But, yeah, oh, but what can if you work? Players can hmm? actually find. Really? You know, like maybe there's some dog. Pairs money. How, that can how, how many? How many years have you been fucking doing these tripods, my man? How many years, dog? Oh. <laughs> can you actually work on the house arrest? Yeah, yeah. From home. yeah, work from home. No, man, like, let's say you don't need to work from home. Oh. Yes, um, according to the the Department of Correctional Services website, um, 
it depends on exactly what rules that have been placed upon you. There are certain people who are allowed to leave, however, they need approval. And then you need to go to your probation officers during the day and at night. And you need to state your address. But other than that, um, movement is restriction is restricted. Restriction. So, but enjoy Nigeria. Who are you going with? Uh, DJ BJ. Okay. Enjoy Nigeria, man. Tibla. Mungi, yeah. mungi. Why aren't you guys coming? Blake Stu. Oh, it's limited numbers. Take uh, my space, man. Yeah. Oh, take my space as well. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's going to be dope. We're going to have some jollof rice. Did, uh, did, uh, did Spiro tell you? What? Like, <laughs> what, happened? <laughs> what happened? So, um, remember that this trip now was like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> yeah, yeah. he had to wash all his underwears, right? Because yeah. you know, yeah. and now it, they, we woke up and still wet. Guess where he puts them to dry them? Wait. Dry. Just guess, guess. Where would you? By the washing you line. Yeah. Huh? By the washing oh. line. Think appliance. Think of an appliance. <laughs> Kitchen. Kitchen. <laughs> In the oven. <laughs> In the oven. <laughs> 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 Not just one, all of them. All of them. What are you doing? Oh, be slow, then. So, it's coming. So, ladies, now you know. Underwear. Now you know what you need to do when you come to Simpia's dating show. Just work the oven. That's all. Work the oven. That's it. That's it. <laughs> right. be, care, be careful of the oven. Hey, hey, hey. Shit, man. Ghost lady, anything you want to talk about? Um, there was. I wanted to ask you guys about um advocate day four. Do you know the whole situation of him? Because um, he's been arrested since last year. Yeah. Right? And I don't know how you guys feel because now he's been denied like to, to go see the judge. Like they don't even fetch him. So it was a whole tweet about just like concerning what's happening around his whole ca his case. Because this guy has been arrested. Remember, it was all from... Um, he got arrested that time because he was a defense attorney for, you know, the whole Senzo Meiwa case. And obviously he made a, like a spectacle of the justice system and just the issues that arose from there. Then he ends up getting arrested. Now, all this time, he's not been able to uh, face a judge. And also, um, so it's almost like, is there some kind of foul play happening? What do you guys know? Honestly, when I asked you that, I thought you were going to say, no, 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 I'm good. Ah, eh, eh. <laughs> Is it, it was on your one. Is it too deep for you? <laughs> hey, it's Easter Monday, dog. <laughs> no, guys, it's a whole thing. Like it's just it's 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 being kind of swept under the rug that this guy is, you know, not. Uh big. there's a podcast that we had him. Um, does the soccer podcast? Good level culture. Good level. I had him. Ne? Yeah. You're talking about that guy. Yes, 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 yeah. Yeah, he oh, had wow, a, yeah, wow, yeah. for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Advocate careful, careful. Yeah. I haven't been following the story, man. You haven't been following yeah, the story? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. even know what's... Like Nkatele, anything with sends or yeah, around the... Yeah. Nkatele. Nkatele. But I get what you're saying. I think there is, and we need to speak about it if yeah. it is happening. Yeah, because something is happening. If yeah. you saw it, it means there's something that... Yes. Ne? Yeah, like it's being raised because... It, what can and, 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 usually, and usually, you know, when people go to podcasts, it's because they don't want to be in censored. Jail. We can't call him. Ha, I forgot people... Said, yes. Since August last year. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Please, you can... Uh, Fact check us. Oh, that man. I really so have you, re you reckon there's something going yeah, on? There's, there's, there's okay. something happening. Yeah, something. There's just foul play and and no one's yeah. saying anything. Because I guess there's there's a point where he was raising some valid, you know, like yeah, points points on just like what's going on and mm. just the whole and things obviously that have come out over the case. Mm. And so it's like now this man is just trying to be kept, mm. you know, in the dark and like because his wife is, is it, the only one who has access to him. Is it advocate therefore Malesela? Yes. Malice, let let yeah. Let's see. Let's see who's who's spoken Malice about it. Okay, let's go to news advocate Defo. Five days ago, Defo again allegedly refuses to appear in court despite being in but custody. But that's a lie. That's the thing. He's refusing. He's not being brought to the court. Because remember, when you're in prison, they're supposed to bring you. Like the court sentences Defo to 12 months in jail if he continues to practice. Disembarked he was, Defo he referred to mental was assessment. It? It was the spot, was it? It's last year, November. It was, yeah. Yeah. Defo remains in jail after being dumped by a new lawyer for not taking advice. Mm. 
Yeah, no, that's one right, of the side lady. shows, man. There's been so many side shows. Mm, you're right, Coast Lady. It's a, one of the side shows. And, it's, and no one's talking about it. No. no one is talking. No one is talking. I need to check Something it out. Is off. Something is off. See, bigger bands. It's fun deal. See, fun deal. Snap up. Snap uh, okay. See, see, yeah. and do it in an injustice. It really sounds like something we need to read it off. Yes, deep into. you're right. Yeah, and just, bring to light. Yes, and yes. not just yeah. Because I see Fundelang yeah, and just brush yeah. it off like Indonji when a, a man's whole thing, you know, is getting run his whole life. It sounds like you know, yeah. and it's being hot done, and lies are being a narrative is being pushed about his story. Yeah, we need to look at it like in checking. depth. I can't find anything online besides the fraud and assault allegations. Um, but apparently, according to his wife, there was an interview where his wife did. And she stated that there hasn't been any bail hearing in regards to his matter. And that's unconstitutional. And that's that's unconstitutional. unconstitutional, yes. And each time when he gets a lawyer, there's some reason for the lawyer to be driven away. So he's always changing. Let's bring the, the wife, man. Yeah. His, 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 his story really needs, mm. you know, like... Like shout out, shout out, platform. ghost lady, man. Shout, shout out, out to you bring for it. bringing that to light. That's actually beautiful, yeah. yeah let me try this again. So, so you're, not in part, you, you're not in parliament, but I think you'll need those bodyguards. <laughs> Let's bring Advocate Tifo's wife. Yeah, We're going to yeah. need those bodyguards. Anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, man, I want to say shout out to Kwena, bro. You expect him to say nah, nah. <laughs> nah, 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 yeah, nah, he's, he's disappointed. Nah. I can see the look. Nah, 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 yeah, I know. Yeah, no, shout out to Kwena, guys. Kwena, I'm a parker. So Kwena is a, like he's gonna be the future of our cricket. He's a young youngster, bowler, oh, wow. really talented cricketer. Um, you know we had we hosted the under nineteen World Cup. Yeah. And the boy took twenty one wickets. Whoa. In the entire tournament. I think they played like six games. Now that's a big deal. Damn. So he got a deal, IPL deal in India. No way. Yeah, to play there. Now, first game, he plays, he bowls four overs because yeah. it's like five bowlers, mm, spells mm, of four mm. overs, 20, 20, 20 overs. And he got smacked around the park. For real? You know? Yeah, but he's 19. Mm, mm, mm. Huh? 17. Mm, no. 17. He's a kid. He's 17, mm. bro. Got smacked around the park at a run rate of like 19. Uh, they smacked him for like 66, right? Cool. But he's a 17-year-old kid who's got a bright future, hence is getting big, big deals. deals. Like, that's a big deal. You know, it's millions, worth millions mm. when you go there. And I was very disappointed. So Dwayne Bravo, who's uh, a West Indian cricket player, then goes on to Instagram and uh, tweets and, well, posts mm. on Instagram. Says, young man, keep your head up. Now, Dwayne Bravo is, like, also uh, a legend in cricket. He's mm. a fast bowler as well, former legend. Keep your head up. You know, there's a lot coming for you in this cricketing world, you're going to be a superstar, you know, as a, a matured former legend mm, is saying mm. to a young star, words of encouragement. Our very own Dale Stain mm. posts, let me find this thing. No ways, I can see where this is going. You see what it's going, right? Yeah. You see what it's going, right? Mm, mm. Our very own, uh, our very own Where's my thing? Screenshots now. So, Dale, oh, it's on the computer. Dale Stain tweets. Um, he says, sorry, man, I'm going to my Twitter now. No, 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 problem. no problem. Yeah. Uh, Dale Stain, I was so disappointed. <laughs> so he tweets. Not that it wasn't factual what he tweeted. Yeah. But it's the undertones and the, the posture of the tweet. He says, my Parker realizing the difference between under 19 and pro league. Baptism of fire. Right? The kid is 17. Yeah. Man. He just got deflated, mm. smacked around the park. Here's the man of the nah, player of the tournament, mind you, mm. in the under 19 World mm. Cup, which we hosted now now. Mm. And he's gonna tweet that. Mm. And no parting like short of encouragement. You know what I mean? Mm. Meanwhile, last year, two years ago, he was tweeting about Brevis, who's also another young star. You know, bright youngster who's gonna who's coming up the ranks. Uh, uh, also, was in an you know, under nineteen uh, squad. Brevis, next uh, ten plus years, the world will be entertained. You know, this is not from IPL though. It's from before when he tweeted about the guy, and obviously Brevis is 
slightly lighter in color, you know, mm. by her skin color and stuff. So I found that to be very fucked up from a legend who this kid probably looks up to. You know, yes, it is a baptism of fire. We got it. We all watched. We saw what happened. But at least encourage him as well. I mean, if a guy from West Indies could no, do fuck it. No, What was he doing when he was 17? Exactly. You know what I mean? And Dale Stale is a legend. But what was he? And maybe that's where it comes from. And now it gets me to... To, 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 to understand why Makandini wouldn't take the bus back to the hotel mm. when he was with the Proteus, because he's mentioned it. And Dudu, how far are we from getting uh, the legend in the studio? Yeah, Makai's still writing a book. Uh, about Makandini. He's on man. holiday, bro. Dudu, I don't even know where he is. He's on holiday. <laughs> I saw Mac. I saw Mac in the group. Mac asked, who's that UFC champion? <laughs> Trickers. Yes. Yeah, he asked. <laughs> He saw the Swoop post uh, an interview with Drickus and Meg asked, Why don't you have Drickus? <laughs> yeah! What <laughs> too long? Eh? I did respond. No, no, no I didn't, didn't respond. Did. I no, she didn't. Holiday. She didn't. Holiday. Shame, man. Yeah, but we need Makai. Why didn't bro. we even? The stories. <laughs> <laughs> but we need uh, 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 the Khrutman Makai and Dini, bro. That's going to be special. That mm. team seems to have people who we idolized and, and really. Fully supported, you know, like when during the spring box when that black boy was like, "Yo, Elizabeth, Elizabeth," and that's how we supported your Jock Callis, oh, yeah. your Daryl Cullinan, your Gary Kirsten, your Dale Stain, only to find out that these guys sometimes are not really pleasant humans. You know, Lance Klusner is cool though. I think, yeah, yeah, he, I think he's like one of the cool ones. I was just trying to show you that I know. You know the guys. How you do, boy? Yeah, yeah. But I was so disappointed in Dale Stain, bro. I was so disappointed. Oh, and then I tweeted this, mm. and then now he he folded. Uh, um, let me read you his tweet. Oh. Dale Stain responded. No, no, he didn't respond to me. But mm. uh, a couple of people tweeted this thing, and then. I also joined in and Holy took the screenshots and tweeted, right? Mm. Um, and then now it, he folded uh, like 20 minutes ago. He then tweets. So the match happened last night where he tweeted these things, right? And then he sees the backlash. Obviously, management has called him. Mm. And then he tweets, I wake up feeling for Kwenama Paka today, uh, but I know he's surrounded by some amazing people and uh, he's going to be absolutely fine. His first experience, regardless of result or performance, should still be the most amazing cricket experience he's ever had at just 17. It's only upwards from here. Well done, young man. 24 hours after, That's uh, PR. after the fact. That's mm. PR. Why that didn't he tweet this? PR. Why didn't he tweet this soon as the game finished? Mm. Because that's what he really felt. He yeah. didn't think he was going to get backlash. Thank you. Mm, no, no, no. He and yet to be exposed him. by Dwayne Bravo, who then posts words of encouragement. The boy's 17. Yeah. He's very capable. Yeah. We all know. Yes, he's gonna get smacked around. It may not be the fairy tale the story of the debut at mm -mm. you know at an international tournament. Yeah. But dude, you're a legend he looks up to. There's something there, man. I really hope the Makai and Tini thing happens and we won't get sabotaged with the whole oh, I don't go on that platform. It's whatever, whatever. Yeah, Makai's management, please allow him to come through. Yeah, because that story is gonna be insane. There's something happening there. Yeah. yeah, that cricket team, bro, like for real, man. I mean, Makai, you know, like I said, he said he had to take a bus. Let's Imagine. say they were playing at Wanderers. Imagine. And the restaurant. Imagine. And the hotel is like around a whole fucking Makai and Tini. Wanderers, yeah. Take the uh, walk. Not that they forced him to, but because the environment is just so toxic. toxic and he wants and, to and, and we as black people are tolerant himself. like that where we will remove ourselves from the situation and just be like I grand oh you know you've been to Cape Town oh, yeah, yeah. You've been, and, I'm, and I asked people who work at a pick and pay one time I'm like why do you guys take this nonsense from this guy this customer or your boss eh? and it's like hey man you this know we're just here to work mm. you know what I mean and I'm like Sis. that's a lot of black people not just in Cape Town but I make that example because it's so prevalent in Cape Town that the, the the racism and the pe people can be understanding of it, you know, mm. simply obviously because they got to pay bills and do mm. all these things. You're from Joburg, you just came here on a holiday. We don't even go on holidays in our own town, kind of thing, because it's that expensive or whatever. Yeah, well, so I get what you mean when you say sometimes we're very tolerant of bullshit. Mm. And on that note, Simpio, anything you want to add? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What should you bring? Uh, what should he pack? You've been to Nigeria. What should he pack? Ah, uh, it's like Ghana, bro. It's hot, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And leave. It's, once you've been to one African country, you've been to all of them. Honestly, it's nah, the same. Nah, Mozambique. 
versus Nigeria, I'm sure two totally two, different yeah. experiences. Wow, well, Mozambique's got the beach. On yeah, the yeah. So you, Ghana's got the beach, but it's not the same vibe. Yeah. Remember yeah. going to the beach? But remember, like Africans, we we in poverty. So once you've seen one poverty, it's like the same poverty everywhere. You know what I mean? Okay, I get that. But you guys don't go to the po- impoverished places. You go to the nice. You go to the center of Nigeria. Now, only now. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he forgets, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, uh, the winners for Chillis Pudge. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Let me not forget. Yes, yes. Hey, they've been hey, rocking the adverts. You, yeah, man, shout out, out man. The cans thrown at her. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was <laughs> I saw that. Someone was like, which one is this one? Yeah, bro, I laughed at that one. Shout out to you. All right, so in case you didn't know, we're giving away uh, a share of 200,000K for the yeah. next four weeks. We've given away 50K last week. Yep. We've got another 50K to give away now. Yeah. This week. And uh, this is who won. Let me go to do do Chillis Punch winners. It's Monday underscore CXXP underscore loco. Woo. We've got Brandon Class and then we've got Pulling underscore slick. Which one did uh, Tato Tato choose? Because I know he, there's one that he Yeah, had. he was passionate. The last, the last one. one. Yeah. Pulling underscore slick. Because he was like, yeah, you can see that guy worked. That, is that it? Ed, like he can said we put that hours. in the end of the show, please? Yeah. The one you like, ne? Yeah. All right, cool. That's so amazing. all those people have won themselves 10,000 rands. <laughs> and if you also want to win yourself 10,000 rands, just buy yourself uh, the new flavor of Tequila Sunrise. At um, uh, It should be everywhere by it now. It should be everywhere, no? Yeah. So buy that, do an ad, tag us at Chillis Punch. And then who knows, next week it could be your turn to win 10,000 rands. Also, don't forget, we're coming to the U.S. Not forgetting, we're coming to Bloom. Oh. We're getting oh, closer yeah. and closer to yeah. Bloom, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Counting weeks now. Huh? 30th yeah. of April, and then we are in uh, Limpopo straight after that. And then we're also going to be in Northwest. The tickets are finally live. So if you want to come join us on the 8th of June at the Rustenburg Civic Theatre, make sure you get your tickets right now. Wow. Big shout out to all our sponsors, Easy Bet, Jack Daniels, mm. Fair Auto Group, Beautiful. and of course, Striped Dogs. Shout out! out. We out here, man. Podcast and chill. Boom. Peace! Happy Bye. Easter, man. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed time with family. Nothing like Easter. Bro. Yeah, nothing yeah. like Easter, man. Um, it's the Swedish thing next to Christmas. Christmas. Oh, next to getting <laughs> Christmas. Uh... <laughs>